Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the SS APC. I am Graham, coach of the St. Louis Battle Hall Luchas. And this is season two, week two. And this week we are playing uh, Zam and the Georgia Gurchens, who is currently 1 0 after week one. We're currently 0 and 1, so we have a little bit of a deficit to make up, but uh, despite this being a very difficult matchup, I think we can pull it off. So I'm going to join this battle. See if we can find him. He's got a pretty scary team. He has a very powerful G Max Colossal, along with multiple ways to proc its, uh, its weakness policy. Alright. This is what we'll be rocking with today. Uh, in the fog, I'm down with that. All right, let's see what he brings. He has Quagsire. Cobalion. Dragapult. And, um... That's not Orbeetle, that's a uh, Dottler. So let's say Orbeetle almost. Um... A little different. I was like, I was really expecting him to bring the uh, the Maractus, but um, I think that favors me a bit more. But we'll to see what he's up to with um, Dottler. But um, I think I'll just go with the squad I plan to lead with, which was I believe it was this. It's still going to do a lot of damage, though. I don't have a rock type on my entire roster, so everything's going to be taking full cliff damage as long as uh, he gets it off. But good luck, have fun to my opponent. Go on, and see. Okay, this is not the lead I was expecting. I'm still not totally out of it, but this will be a little trickier to get around. Alright, so for the situation, I'm going to go for a Dazzling Gleam, and I could knock off the... I think I want to knock off because of... I want to know what his item is, because if it's Eviolite, I might not be able to pick up the Snockout, but um, I think Plow Play would do more damage normally. Uh, let's get him on. Let's just go for knockoff. Use Sash. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. Focus Sash. Dazzling game. Oh yeah, that's pretty bulky. Well, he goes for Icy Wind. That's alright. He didn't Dynamax either, so I th that makes me think he has Colossal in the back. Close combat. He knew the threat, man. Alright. Let's see here. White herb, okay. I wanna write that down. I can't type today. Alright. Um I can't go into that just yet. Um, I d if he has, um, let's see here. He could still have Dragapult in the back, but, um, hmm. I think I'm, I'm think I'm okay to just attack here. And I'm gonna go for a protect because I want to survive this turn. Okay, if I can get off 
Oh, I'm not, I'm not going to be faster this turn. Hmm. That sucks, but... So he will get it off, but... He played that very well. Now I can't protect this next turn, so that's kind of bad. I'm actually in a really bad position. Do I knock him out? Okay. And DD at least gets a knockout, but I think that puts me in a really bad spot. Yeah. So that he can Dynamax and I think I need to switch. And I want to go for the double protect. The problem is he can just he can just uh he can just tack one into the other. But uh I don't have a better play. Okay, I get it. That's the first thing I need to get. I need to survive this turn. Yikes. I guess still Dynamax, but I can't get the setup. Okay, my great pops. Um. I will die this next turn so I cannot safely get the setup. I can at least uh, redirect a coverage move if he has it. I don't think he's going to protect his Cavalion, so. Oops, not that. Let's go for follow me. I don't think I can survive long enough to take out all three of his Pokemon. Let's see here. CC, okay, so he, he targeted the other one. Also, his Cabalion is faster than Colossal. Max Flare, okay. Focus drops. Cool, I still get the knockout. We'll just go into Colossal again, and then I'll Expanding Force because it does the most damage consistently. Not bad. Darts. Oh, I don't survive. That sucks. Oh, it's a crit. I don't know if I survived anyway if he's offensive, but... Alright, so Dragapult gets that kill. That did so much. Max Strike, very interesting.
Well, it was a little closer than I thought, but it's still... I think he's still a step ahead of me, so... I need to... I need to mix up my lead. I do have one more potential lead, I think, that could help. It does require me to potentially Dynamax early, though. I would prefer to be Dynamaxing second, but... Oops, not that. Um, lead up front. Um... I like me and show just because the sash will at least keep me um it'll keep me alive for at least one turn so I can get a hit off. I'll go with this. If he leads Dragon Ball Colossal that really sucks for me because I could have just led the same thing and done much better. I don't think he will, though. I think he's aware. Come on, he sneezes. Okay, same lead. Um, he could take me out, but he, he might want to respect the NDD in the back. I'm gonna go for follow me. Thing is, though, mm, if. Even if I doubled back just to block the fake out, he can still close combat me. I think I wanna make I think I wanna make that play actually. Let's do this. Set the focus energy. Cause if um if he does take me out, I can go for after you the next turn. He might, he's not going to beat up because he has to respect the follow me. He doesn't need to icy wind here. He could though. Okay, he goes for the fake out. So I got that right. Ah, uh, that sucks. I can't go for the uh I can't go for the follow me now. That's okay. I can at least do this. And I'm gonna Dynamax because I wanna Um Who's a bigger Fred here? Go buy in, probably. It's faster than what I have in the back, so. I think this is the play I have to make. He didn't Dynamax because I am currently Dynamaxing. And because I got the focus energy off, I'm going to crit everything. So even if he has a screen that he's going to set up with Dragon Bullet or something else, it won't matter. It just matters if I can survive these turns. Given that the first one... Yeah, I just don't have a way around this beat up. I didn't have a really good plan for this. I really needed to kill that Sneezo, but he built it very well. It, it ate everything. Oh, we live! Let's go. This thing should be gone. Yep. Let's see what he goes into next. That's really good. The only problem is I can't after you. Especially now that I'm locked into something else. I think what I need to do this turn is I need to double into Togekiss and Max Guard so that I can preserve Colossal for, or not 
Colossal. I need to preserve Octillery for a turn. If um, Togekiss can survive after this next turn, I can follow me. Dragpole. Alright. Uh, we'll make the same play regardless. Let's go to kiss. He Dynamaxes. Interesting. So I'm probably gonna go down here. Yeah, I don't think I can win. Yep. That won't matter because I'm gonna go for the, uh... Follow me the next turn. I did nothing. <laughs> Max Hailstorm will get it. I don't really want to set up the the hail, but I think I need to get rid of this Dragapult. If there's a chance I can survive this turn with Octillery, I can get off the hit and knock out his Dynamax, that would be good for me. Alright. Two Kiss survives this turn. That's fine, doesn't matter. Hoping this gets a knockout. It's still a crit. Oh, so close. Maybe not that close, but I real I really wanted that knockout. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not totally over. I think I'm. I think I'm. I think I'm seeing the the wind con here. We'll go for follow me again. And it doesn't matter. We'll just go for ice beam. Max Phantasm. Yep. Tokus drops a dragon pool. He only has Icy Wing. Oh no, he has Beat Up. I forgot. That will surely get it. Damn, this Sneasel is so annoying. It's not even Eviolite. He's like nothing but bulk. And speed, probably. How many turns of uh, Psychic Terrain do I have left? I think it's still up. No, it, I just put it back up. All right, let me let me see here. If he has Colossal in the back, then my best play will be to um, expanding force. If it's Dowler, then it's probably. Um, Dazzling Gleam, but I think, I think Expanding Force will be fine here. And, I really doubt I'm going to get this with, uh, also I don't want to miss actually, so I'm going to close combat. Free damage on something. Oh, it would have been better than Rock Slide, actually. Oh, he didn't. He icy wind. Okay. 
Oh, that sucks, actually. Hmm. Now, now my scarf is useless. Let's see here. But he didn't go for the uh, surf, which is what I was thinking he was going to try to do. Cool. And Chow gets a kill. Sneasel finally faints. Kills up. Now Dragapult's the fastest thing on the field. Unfortunately, hmm. My sash is broken, so he might be able to kill me. We go for expanding force regardless. And Rock Slide's fine. He's probably the Phantom Force here, if I had to guess. If he Phantom Forces, though, I kill him the next turn with Indeedee. Unless, for some reason, I'm still faster, but <laughs> I don't think that's the case. Surf. Does that kill the Colossal? Oh, it does. Let's go. Fortunately, that's not a kill for me, but... <laughs> Let's go. Alright. Okay, so we did have a win con there. Alright. We'll have to tell him later that it doesn't count as a kill for Dragapult. Maybe it does, I don't know. <laughs> That's how you get to the kill leader. You just c kill your own team. Alright. I liked what I had there. I think I just need to play it a little better. Oops. Oops, not that, actually. So he does. Sneezo and Dottler. What's he gonna do here? This is different. Honestly, I don't feel threatened at all. I think we're in a Dazzle Gleam, and I think I just want to roll for Otter Spout so I can get the most damage I can right now. He knows I can go back into Indeedy, so I don't think he's gonna fake out. Does this get rattled? He fakes me out? Okay. That's fine. I should be faster. See ya. That does a lot. That's good. Dark room. That's fine. Um, so I don't take any damage. Or at least I can, so I can minimize damage, I'll do that again. Honestly, I'm a f I'll take out focus energy. I'm still not threatened. It's also a waste to turn a trick room. Okay, he protects. I thought he, I thought he might try to prevent a death here. I also thought maybe he double into a colossal, but that wasn't the case. That's fine. Yeah, this lead doesn't get him much. And, uh, no, we, we don't need a dynamics hit. We'll just water spot again. I guess it's kind of good that he faked me out there because he would have gotten a free switch that turn and that would have put me at a disadvantage. Especially because I'm 
now fast. I would be now be fast in whatever's in the back. He does get a double protect. So he really wants his Dotler to stay alive here. What's it get though? It gets grass bug, psychic boost. Maybe it's like I don't think I think it's like after you stuff. Okay, Colossal. I built this thing. I built my October to be faster than modest. And I don't even think he has speed on it, honestly. He might have like a little bit of speed. So I think that would mean I'm slower here. So I think I need to follow me. And I think I can just water spout again. And if I hit him with a water move here, then he will become the fastest thing in Trick Room. So so I think this works. I don't think I have to Dynamax yet. I would like to delay it as long as possible. He probably will protect Colossal because he is threatened. And he knows that without that weakness policy, he can't kill my Togekiss. He might want, he probably does want the rocks up though. I would have to guess. He does Dynamax. I will Dynamax the next turn, because I think after this turn, my Water Spouse is just going to be a really leak. What's he going to go for here? Okay, no priority. I don't think he gets priority. Body press? Okay. Doesn't do anything. Max Flare. He's setting up the sun. That's fine. It does mean my max move will be weaker next turn, but I think that's okay. Oh, it doesn't even matter. And dollar drops. So I truly is doing the work I was hoping that it would do. This is really good. I, I think I've got this for sure. Especially once Trick Room ends, I have my two fast Pokemon in the back. He doesn't have Dynamax. Wait, how many turns are left to Trick Room? Last turn, Trick Room, okay. Um, I'll just go for Yawn. And. Yeah, I'll just Max Geyser, change the weather. I think if he led the same way he did in game two, he would have just had to make the correct calls, but I think he was still in it the last game, so I think that may have been his best play. I don't this just didn't work out for him because my my priority was a slow Pokemon. So even though I'm like built to be somewhat fast, it's still a slow Pokemon, so it's gonna fry pretty well in Trick Room. He just didn't have any way to get around to his plus Octori. Cool. Now the weather's in my favor. Yawn doesn't work because he protected. Alright. Trick him's over. And I'll just follow me and finish this with Max Geyser. That should seal the game. Togekiss finally goes down. <laughs> Way to go, Togekiss. I think Togekiss probably took like six or seven hits. That's what it felt like. And this should be it. Yep. Let's go. All four kills for Actillery. That was amazing. Oh, I didn't think we could do it, but I did it. <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know, Sam was the one who took me out of playoffs last season, so I'm really happy to, that I got back at him, I guess. This time I came with a much better plan, I think, and 
I think I was down on myself the second game, but I think I saw my way out and I and I was able to navigate to that goal. So thank you for the games, and see you guys next week. Bye.